Welcome to the fifth episode of Model Car Memories. I have today a 1961 Impala convertible. As you can see, this one's real dirty, and it's going to take a little bit of work to it, uh, get it fixed here. Um, don't know who the manufacturer is of this kit. I haven't seen it imprinted anywhere. I'm hoping maybe when I get the car took apart that uh, that I might see something stamped inside or something like that. But uh, but uh, since this one's, this episode is going to be a little bit longer, I'm going to kind of speed up the, the efforts on it here a little bit. So I'm going to get my cleaning solution ready here and going to brush it off. Like I said, use some start out with a little brush here, and that brush gets a lot of the just a regular dust off of it here. So I'll start with that and come back when it's cleaned. All right, everybody, I got it cleaned up here. It took me about 15, 20 minutes. Uh, you see the interior, the interior looks pretty good. Uh, didn't see anything broken in the interior or anything like that, I think. And here's a little spot I missed there. But some, it's got some hard to reach places in here. So I flattened the end of the the cotton swab to kind of get down in the deep places uh, on the body the the windshield came out when I was taking it apart and got to glue these back together that's split on that um, when noticing it looks like there was two aerials in the back here so I'll dig through the spare parts bin I think there's some extra aerials I can put on there uh, so I can put that there the paints a little thin in some areas um, I think I might try to do a liquid wax on this one just to give it a little bit of shine or something like that. It's paint's kind of dull. Um, you can see on the inside where the tires kind of got hot and melted and they stuck to the side there. Uh, one thing I'm missing that I haven't found, one of the tail lights. I've uh, been through the parts bins. I haven't been able to see one yet. I'll have to keep digging. So unless anybody out there has a uh, has a, a 61 Impala tail light uh, you can send me. So let's see here. I think I've, I've got the, the front grill here. Oh, I got a got a headlight that's out too. So don't know if I can find a might be able to find a headlight in the parts bin. There's I haven't shown you all the parts bin. There's uh, all the three in one kits and stuff. All the spare parts from all the three in one kits. They just all ended up in a one big place. So. There's lots of lots of spare parts here. Um, on the tires, you got some of them. I'm gonna have to get these apart here. They've been hot and melted, and they're all different shapes. I think that one's just just off, so I just gotta glue it back. Uh, there's another one here. It's all that's crooked. So so we got two crooked ones. That one looks like it's been melted as well. Get the exacto knife on it and do it now the inside when i'm trying not to disturb which i've already must one uh, i don't know if you can see it my stepdad did a lot of detail put some spark plug wires and then some battery cables here so the battery's loose i need to glue that back and the inner shroud here as well but i did finally see something on here um right here it is molded into it 61 chevy two-door convertible and then over the gas tank there's an amt stamp right there couldn't see it over the paint or anything like that but i think it's just molded on the inside so this is an amt kit so i was able to confirm that and then uh on the underside here is just the the exhaust and everything's all molded into it um and it looks like it has uh where you can do Two different placements, two different places to put your axle on there, so you can have a uh, set it up for a low rider or, or the normal thing. So, so I'm gonna glue the things in the for the engine compartment. Try to glue all that back together. I've got to put the, the intake on, and the carburetors. Put that back on there. Uh, get that set up and let it sit for a while, and uh, come back to it tomorrow. Okay, everybody, I'm going to give you a quick update here. Uh, on the body here, I've added the twin aerials on the back. I've 
got this centerpiece glued together and then on the engine got the engine put back together the battery actually fell off a little there a little bit so I got that glued back in got this side glued in even though there's it's got a horn there um, the interior wasn't really a lot to, to do to it wasn't any anything loose or broken in that uh, the next thing I need to do here is the wheels um, got a couple of them here one that still needs to come apart here I think and this one's stuck here too I did the trick of putting them in the freezer to try to get the glue to, to pop off so that's going to be the next thing is get the wheels together and from there I'll be able to reassemble the car a little bit I do have, I think I have a little piece of wire here that was used as a battery cable and then the rear view mirror here so that and of course the thing here I've got the uh, some other type of glue to put the windshield back in so I want to use that as well so I'll probably get the windshield in next and do the tires as well and come back to you for the final assembly on this okay everybody I've got most everything put together uh, the wheels I just kind of stuck them on there I didn't really glue them back I think this one needs to on the axle it's wanting to, it's wanting to wobble around on the axle so I'll see how it does when I when I put it all together uh, went ahead and put the interior in it's got uh, two pieces of plastic kind of snap in there hold it in place and then two tabs up front so you had to get the tabs lined up just right so let's see if I can get this together here and looks like there's two tabs in the front as well so put those two tabs in there that will fall off let's see okay oh that went on really good find the screws here so it's got these little two screws in the back on this one and they go through the bumper so the bumpers doesn't look like it was really glued on there so I'm not going to glue it back okay and then this does have looks like it has an option to make it uh, kind of lower your clearance there low make it a low rider but uh, I'm gonna hold off on doing that Ooh. Uh oh I uh, can't get the wheel on with the over the wheel well so let's back up here Okay, now the wheel's in there. This is just the screws falling out. All right, so everything's in there. It's probably primarily why they, the wheels were stuck to the inside of the fender well when I first got it. It's just hardly any clearance there. screwdriver but okay that's there put a dab of glue for the boot so I just had some well, that's not a whole lot Stick it on there. 
Don't know how I'm gonna put the. I think I need some faster acting glue to put the rear view mirror on. Doesn't really want to stay, so I'll put that on later. This glue takes quite a while to set, so I'll just set it in there. But there you have it. The 61 Impala model kit from AMT. A restoration on it there. Give you a little. Let me give you a close-up view here on the turnstile. I got the aerials back on, so they've stayed on. I haven't, like I said, I couldn't find one of the rear tail lights. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll find one somewhere. And then let's pop the hood. And there's that engine. I think the only thing I was missing in there was the uh, front radiator or top radiator hose. It looked like it had been there before, but it wasn't there. So, like I said, if you uh, thanks for watching the video, uh, make sure you hit the like button, help me out there, subscribe to it, the channel, and uh, and also if you haven't already. I do have an Instagram page uh, where I'm posting still photos of the kits as I'm going through them. Uh, so make sure you sign up for the Instagram page as well. Uh, keep you up to date on what I'm doing and then kind of see progress before the video comes out. So, and then share it with your friends. So thanks a bunch.